Hello and welcome to this edition of Spotlight with Sandhya. This is a program where I bring in interesting people, especially those connected with various forms of arts. Because I feel it's very important to keep the conversation going among artists, writers, dancers, musicians, poets, anybody who has anything to do with the world of culture. Today, our guest is professional artist Anuradha Nalapat. Anuradha is also a published author and poet. I have a special soft spot for Anuradha because she played a major role in the very first Under the Rain Tree Women's Cultural Festival that we celebrated in 2017. Today, Anuradha is here to share her very special piece of poetry that she has written and which has been inspired by this pandemic that has affected the entire world. Hello, Anuradha. How are you? Hi, Sandhya. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, um, you're one of a very unique people who straddles various forms of the art, you know, poetry, literature, and of course, your main passion, which is art. You've also been a member of the Kerala Sahitya, Sahitya Academy. Yes. Academy. Yeah. That's a rare honor for a poet, I would say, right? And a writer and an artist. It's, it's, and I think the way you have brought in all these various elements into your art is something remarkable. Thank you of so course, much. Yeah. Now, my very first question is going to be about this poet, uh, you know, the poet in the artist. So, who came first? Was Anuradha a poet first or an artist first? <laughs> It's a chicken and egg question, so Absolutely. I really, yeah, I really don't have an answer to that because I have straddled both. Um, writing have always been writing, and at the same time, though there's no, uh, haven't done any course or, you know, haven't gone to college, trying to learn writing, but um, painting, yes, it has uh, become a profession, and I did go to a college. <laughs> So you don't need a degree actually in order to paint. But so yes, writing and painting have always been with me. That's nice to know. You know, just the other day we were talking and you happened to tell me that you have written this uh, wonderful, I mean, I'm saying it's wonderful because I've read it. You didn't tell me that you had written a wonderful one, but I really like what you had written inspired by the pandemic. I would not think that this is something that, uh, you know, uh, would uh, be held up as something that inspires somebody. But it has inspired a beautiful piece of poetry and I'm sure it's inspired your art too. Do you mind sharing yes. lines from your poem now? Do you mind reading it out for our viewers? Yes, I would love to do that. I'd love to do that. Um, yes, these uh, times are not uh, beautiful where, uh, um, you know, uh, but for artists, um, it is times like these that brings the, makes you want to write and makes you want to paint because there is so much of raw material out there which is staring at your face and that's how poetry comes and that's how life is staring right in front of you, isn't it? Uh, so that's why you do these things. So I will just, um, it's a long poem because I'm not very good at writing small uh, ones. So mm -hmm. for me, it just comes and it is, uh, it is more of a prose poem and it is uh, an overall look, a bird's eye view of what is going on with us and with our uh, planet and our people, what's happening in this whole world. So it is something like that. That's why it's a bit long and I'll be just reading, uh, like you said, the beginning, middle and uh, yeah, I'm really like putting it up on our website too. So if anybody wants to read the whole poem with your permission, we can put it yes, up yes. and, uh, you know, uh, yes. they can read it. But I think right now it would be a nice time to hear a few lines of COVID breath, if I'm right. 
Yes, Sandhya, you're right. So here we go. Um, for long sits the mutant shredder, the new age virus, shackled to blue screens and fantastic schemes, propping up a tilting globe, patching a yawning ozone hole. A diplomatic slash of words here and a democratic kick there. Its tail twitches out of sight and in fright. A blue tooth grows from deep ears, whispering secular solutions to manufactured ills, like leeches on tail end sucking the blood end of hope. Like it or not, see it or not, hear it or not, man, the mutant, shredder. For long, a super base Sennheiser cups its ears, blocking out the other, muffling out back end tails. A loved one sigh, fragile newborn word tripping on lips. 404 error, status code, no such page is found. Heard in contentment, the wise old computer screen. Click, a frivolous page deleted in an instant. A scoop of joy, a sparkle of wonder in the eye. Click, frivolous indeed. Animals, click. Plants, click. Trees, rivers, mountains, click, click, click. It's that easy for us these days to remove these things. A firewall it erects against nature, setting fire to its own tail. Mm -hmm. Like it or not, see it or not, hear it or not, man, the mutant shredder. Now what else? What else does he do? So man is a virus. We have become the virus. We have the coronavirus there. But why did that come? Because of us. Right? So now what are the few horrible things that man has done and which he doesn't realize that they are horrible? <laughs> An anesthetized monkey. Its head is served on a plate. Oh. The virion coughs. Pick the brain and size in prestige. You know, we kill animals to eat, um, animals like even monkeys, okay, and um, shark fins, and we've read about this in newspapers. Sharks hauled upside down, brutalized, the virion regains power. Beef calves and a bucket full of bleeding castrations. Good product quality. The shredder burps in contentment. This is what we do. Like it or not, see it or not, hear it or not, 404 error code. These pages do not concern us. So when people say, no, don't do this. Why do you do this? Oh, this is horrible. Why should, you shouldn't be doing this. What do we, in, deep within ourselves, we feel, no, oh, this, this is not for me. This doesn't concern us. Now we go on to the middle portion of it. So at this time, while we've done all this and, you know, we have become the uh, master of the universe. <laughs> so at this time, what happens? The COVID comes to our lives. And what does it do? And now descends a COVID breath to erase all doubts. Here, take a look at the back end weave, the tail end, it says, where masks are cut and sewed to fit a designer face. There is a front end and a back end. There are a lot of things which are happening here which we don't care to listen to or pay heed to. 
Here, look, the clownfish and the anemones live together. Here, look, the sharks and the fish ride together. And a lichen quietly spreads its wings on rocks. Hmm. Living together, a river indebted to the contours of a bank, a rain cloud indebted to the mountain peak. This is normal. This is what happens there everywhere in nature. For some reason, we don't see these things. They're all in it together, a symphony at play. There is room for the other. So what did the COVID say to us? Sit, it said, a COVID breath. A still and wispy phantom ring. That's all it is. Sit with a father, a mother, sit with a daughter, a son, with a husband, wife, friend or foe. Simply sit with a weave, in a weave. In a weave of a weave. Sit, 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 doggy, sit. <laughs> so that's what it's made us do. You know, our families are back together. We're all sitting together with our dogs and cats and families. And man feasts at the pinnacle of his hunger. A dali clock melts. A stunned time tumbles into lower gears. And man is thrown back home and at the pivot with a back-end tail. Wonderful. Wonderful. I think people are going to be really wanting to read the entire poem on our website. And I think it's going to be a remarkable thing when people absorb the meaning behind it. I also want to ask you, are there any paintings that you did during this period? And I mean, I know you cannot separate your creative process because you're both a poet and a, an artist. So are there any uh, paintings or drawings that were also inspired by the pandemic or inspired by the thoughts and experiences and feelings that... Yes. Yeah? Yes. Um, yes, I did do not large paintings, but... Uh, pastel works I've done and some uh, drawings I did. Yeah, as a as a painter, you see this lockdown is not something new. You keep going into these lockdown spaces. Um, you you are not you can't always be painting or writing. Or at least I cannot. Hmm. So um, uh, now the, what the lockdown teaches you or what I learn from any lockdown is that. Um, you come back to the, the basic, what do you say, the beginning of it all. Not No lights and no glamour. You are back to the basic center of it all or the beginning or the source of your creativity. Where you start a poem, where you start a painting. And what is that? This is that. What you see on the screen, this is how you start a painting. Right? Because this sketch. is how I started yeah, mm. this is a sketch. But if you look at it carefully, you will understand. Even I cannot make sense out of this right now. Um, for almost a year or so, I did not paint. When I come back to it, I understand the value of it. Oh. The value of the of these sacred spaces where you are starting uh, from. Now, can you see? Oh, yeah. Quite a lot of progress has happened by the time we reach yeah. this frame. Yeah, by now, uh, small figures have started coming and some kind of a form, forms are slowly emerging from it. Some portions, the artist will darken a little bit here, there, some thought will come and you will add that thought into it. And wow. slowly, slowly, it starts developing. So you don't know where you're going completely, though you yourself are so fascinated by what is going on. So imagine from the first place where you don't know what's happening you've reached here mm -hmm. yeah and then finally i'm going to show you this is probably the the last the final sketch where the forms have come out completely there is a bird in a corner there are 
so this is like an ocean where you know everything is swimming in this space wonderful so how you long have... how long would it have taken you to reach from that point where we just saw a few diffused lines to this completed sketch how long would it have taken you it is a continuous process okay you don't stop in between it is a continuous process if i do if i'm starting if it's one day then i would uh, do it in a day oh okay all right does it take um, I, 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 have there been instances where it has taken you a few days or have you had to come back to a piece of work after a week or so yes yes that you do that you do the initial thing once it comes now you know the form now you know what what it's going to be mm -hmm. so then you can leave it aside you can relax now and then you can go back to it and then you can enjoy it so much now you're playing with it okay. you're telling that little figure okay i'll put you near this uh, boat or uh, you will draw that little butterfly there one wing here something here something there all that can happen in the in the last stage where you are bonding with that whole thing oh nice okay so i'm just trying to tell you that um it is uh, important to have to feel feel those emotions you have to feel like it aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh. and you you can feel only when you slow down and okay. that's why i thank the virus that it has asked us all to slow down because only when you slow down do you get in touch with those uh, gentler subtler spaces within within you which you thought were not important nice so that's nice that we are back here looking at each other thank you for sharing this beautiful creative journey and it's so timely i think that you came out of your self imposed lockdown with art to actually enjoying the process again i just love the way that you brought in the playful element so you're actually you know for you uh, it's a living creature right your the work of art that you're composing seems to be a living creature so you're talking to it you're telling the figures with an edge that what you're going to do with them it's very interesting the same way that uh, a writer or, uh, would do with a character in their uh, you know in their play or a, a novel that they're writing so it's so similar yes. and um, it actually makes us feel so happy to be let in to share a little bit of your creative journey and i think um, you know so i that also is a, yeah sandhya that is the bonding that you have your bonding with those things inside you nice right nice. and if you don't bond you, without that that is the basis of everything if you don't bond with a tree which you see outside you you don't mind if it is um chopped down yeah it, absolutely right? so um children naturally bond with trees and rivers and you jump into the river and you have a bath and so you have something with that river you have a beautiful relationship with that river because every day you're going to the river and jumping into it and playing in and swimming then you have something with it but now we don't have rivers to swim in so that disconnect has happened yeah i think we are all stuck within this artificial environments in the air conditioned offices with barriers and cabins and you know how often do we get to enjoy the quietness the solitude the beauty of nature the really vibrant blue skies the really deep green foliage the chatter of birds so i think this has been a, in a way thrust into focus on in our you know psyche now saying you are missing out on all this and you're only focusing on some ephemeral stuff which is going to melt away what happened to all those many zeros in people's bank accounts what are they worth if they cannot even go out for a walk or spend time with their loved ones that seems to be the story of the pandemic and uh, i think that's been brought alive yeah. in your poem too thank you for sharing it and i think we'll come back and revisit other elements that you have discussed maybe in a few more editions down the line okay. as for now thank you for watching this edition of spotlight with sandhya featuring anuradha nalapat artist writer and poet see you on the other side